gonna do a quick tutorial and I'm gonna show you how to make these uh, felt eyes that you can put on like armor groovy plushes and stuff that I uh, recently learned how to make. So I um, make armor groovy, I crochet, and I recently got a Cricut and I have learned how to make these eyes because sometimes doing armor groovy, the hardest part of our projects is getting the eyes to look right because eyes can literally make the whole project. If they don't look right, your project doesn't look right. So I wanted to show y'all uh, real quick what y'all need. Do this. Of course, you're going to your Cricut. I am using a Cricut maker. Um, I'm gonna say it has to be a maker because I have to use my rotary blade to cut my uh, felt. I have tried multiple times just to get my fine point, uh, uh, my fine point blade to cut it, and it will not cut through the felt. I will say though that I'm not using Cricut felt. The fine point blade is supposed to cut through felt, so maybe if I had the Cricut felt, it would work. Um, I haven't tried it. I just used the regular old felt that like you get at a craft store, so that may be the problem. But anyway, I um, have a rotary blade here. So when I cut it, I have to put the rotary blade on it and of course change it in the um, settings that I did. So you'll need uh, that. You need your felt. I put my felt on my fabric grip mat. You'll need some iron-on vinyl. I am using white and you can put that on a regular mat. And then you're going to need a heat source. I'm using my Cricut Easy Press uh, Mini. You can use an iron if you don't have a Easy Press. That works too. Just make sure you take all the water out of it and put it on a cotton setting. And I'm going to take you all over into Design Space and show you how to size these up. Okay, so once you're in design space, we're going to go over here to a new project, and I'm going to start a new one, and I'm just going to, I didn't, whatever I was making, I don't need to save it, so I'm going to replace it. And to make the felt eyes, it's really very simple. I'm going to go over here to shapes, I'm going to find this circle, and I'm going to let it load me a circle. So I'm going to make the back of the eye that's going to be with the felt, the black piece, it is going to be a, uh, it's one inch across, so I'm just going to put a one up there in my size bar up here, and then I'm going to go over here and click this other side, and when I do that, it'll automatically size it down like so. So there's uh, one eye. I'm going to duplicate this eye to make for the other one. So over here is your duplicate button. I'm going to hit duplicate, and so there's my two eyes. And if you're wanting to make a whole sheet of these, you can duplicate and make as many as you want. If you want to make like, you know, half a dozen or two dozen, you know, however many. If you want to cut out a whole piece of felt, you just duplicate to make however many you want. So now to make little white spots um, on the eyes, I'm going to go back over here to shapes. And I'm going to get me another circle. And then I'm going to go ahead and get another one too. So what I'm going to do is... One of these, the bigger one needs to be, the bigger spot on the eye needs to be 0.36. And then I'll click this other side and it'll automatically go down. So there it is. And I'm going to go ahead and change this color to white and make it a different color. And then the uh, tiny, the smallest one needs to be 0.2. Okay, I'm going to change it to white too also. Okay, white. There we go. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one eye and I'm going to line them up. Now, something I want to show you real quick is over here on this side where your, uh, um, your circles are. Make sure that the white dots for the eyes are above the black ones. Because if I'll drag it down here, show y'all. So if you put it down below them, I'll show y'all. See, or if these black ones are above, like this, I'm gonna put the black ones above. When I go to put my white dot over it, it goes behind it, and I can't see it. So the other day I went to make some, and I'm like, okay, why is my uh, dot behind it? I can't, because I wanted to line it up on the eye. And you gotta make sure that these are below the white ones like that so then you can work with that because I had trouble with that at first because I'm still kind of new to this but I'm learning so I wanted to share that little tip because that confused me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead I'm going to take these on one eye and I'm going to line it up where I want it and try to get it right where I want it 
And when I get it exactly where I think it should go, like that's probably good. I'm going to take the back one, move it, and then I'm going to just hold it my mouse down and come over and grab the whole piece. And I'm going to weld it together so it becomes one piece for it to cut. So then you don't have to line those two up. And then I'm basically just going to duplicate that to give me another one for the other eye. And you can make as many of those as you want for however many pairs of um, eyes you want to make. So that's basically all it is right there. That's pretty simple. And then, of course, you'll click make it. And you're going to cut. This one's just one. Um, you can mirror it. Although for this design, it really doesn't matter if you mirror it or not. Because it's a basic design. So if you want to for the iron on, you can go ahead and mirror it. It's okay. I am using white iron on, and then for the black one, I'll be using a uh, black felt. Okay, so once you have your pieces already cut out, um, go ahead and set your iron. If you're using a mini press, um, set it just to the lowest setting because it really doesn't take very much heat at all. So I'll put it on the lowest one. If you're using your iron, like I said, just make sure there's no water in it and put it on just like a cotton setting. That's what I used when I made these. Um, before with just a regular household iron. So these are some that I've made. Uh, this is the holographic. Um, and you can tell here that they kind of take on the color of whatever they're around. To me, they darkened a little bit when I um, put them on there and applied the heat, which is, I guess just how it does with the felt. And then these are the white ones. Okay, so I'm just gonna line these up here and just get them as close as I can to where I want them. They don't have to be exactly perfect. And just sit them on there. And once I can get them where I think I want them, I'm just going to get them. And then I'm going to take my iron and I'm literally going to press them for like five seconds. I'm going to take it, put it on there, put a little bit of pressure on them, and just for five seconds, like that. And then the, uh, this should just peel it right off. If it doesn't, you can hit them again. See, there it goes. It peels right off. Um, if you need to, like I said, if it tries to stick or they try to come up, just hit it with the um, a press again. But I didn't have to this time. <laughs> Every time is different. It's funny. But that's how easy it is to make uh, felt eyes. Then I just... Uh, I use a hot glue gun to glue them onto my projects. You can use that, or I have seen some people use fabric glue uh, for different things, but I just use a hot glue gun to glue them on, and that works really well for me. I hope y'all guys enjoyed this tutorial. If y'all did, be sure to subscribe and go like my Facebook and Instagram pages to keep up, as always, with new things that I'm doing, and y'all, happy crafting!